Okay, welcome to the video. So, at the moment, on all sort of forms of social media, what I'm seeing is that people really struggling with worm casts and trying to come up with ideas of how to get rid of them. Now, in the old days, you would just spray a chemical down, that would kill the worms, therefore, no worm casts. However, nowadays, we need to think a little bit more outside of the box. There are a few reasons why we need to get rid of worm casts. Uh, one is because they look unsightly. Two is because when you mow, you end up smearing the worm cast across the grass, which doesn't look great. And secondly, even if you have the thickest sward of grass, your kids only need to run around the garden for, the garden for a little bit and they aren't going to end up with real muddy shoes. So one of the old school ways of removing worm casts was to use a bees and broom, or a witch's broom if you like. Um, I actually tried to get one for this video, but they don't seem to sell them in a in, in the usual garden centres anymore. Another way, and a way I've discussed before, is to use your blower. And as you just knock the dew off, you just blow those and disperse the worm cast itself. I've seen recently a lot of people talking about a technique where you go around and you pick up each individual worm cast. Um, I know for me, I haven't got enough time to be doing things like that. But also, worm casts are actually a great organic and natural form of fertiliser. It seems a waste to take it away from the lawn. So ideally you're looking to take that worm cast and knock it about and break it down and spread it around the lawn. If you've seen the video that I made regarding the greenkeeper's switch or swish, this is the perfect tool for uh, moving and dispersing worm casts. So what it is is an aluminium like handle with a fiberglass rod inside and you just bring it out and then you use it to flick it across the lawn. Um, with that you're removing dew, flicking up debris. This is fantastic to be used in conjunction with a blower as well if you want to move debris across the lawn. But what it is going to do when you hit that worm cast is break it down and spread it across the lawn. When I was working as a greenkeeper, we were referred to as switches or swishes, but also, and I guess referring back to the old school, some people would refer to them as bamboos. A much cheaper option is literally a bamboo cane, which works in a very, very similar fashion. So these are just a couple of tips on how you can remove and disperse worm casts. Remember to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.